Good day, learners, and welcome to another lesson in Philippine history and government. Today's discussion is all about Manuel Rojas. Manuel Acuna Rojas was the fifth president of the Philippines who served from 1946 until his death in 1948. He became the first president of the independent Third Republic after the United States ceded its sovereignty over the Philippines. He briefly served as the third and last president of the Commonwealth of the Philippines from May 28, 1946 to July 4, 1946. Rojas occupied more important positions in the Philippine government than any other Filipino had ever held before him. He then became the youngest governor of Capiz and served in the capacity from 1919 to 1922. He was elected to the Philippine House of Representatives in 1922 and for 12 consecutive years was Speaker of the House. He was a member of the Constitutional Convention from 1934 to 1935, Secretary of Finance, Chairman of the National Economic Council, Chairman of the National Development Company, and many other government corporations and agencies, Brigadier General in the USAF, recognized guerrilla leader, and military leader of the Philippine Commonwealth Army. Presidential Election of 1946 Prior to the Philippine national elections of 1946, at the height of the last Commonwealth elections, Senate President Rojas and his friends left the Nationalista Party and formed the Liberal Party. Rojas became their candidate for president and Epidio Carino for vice president. Manuel Rojas wasn't able to finish his term because of his sudden death in 1948 while he was giving his speech. Once again, Manuel Acuna Rojas, our fifth president of the Philippines who served from 1946 until 1948. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!